good morning students we will continue with the story uh, landscape of the soul uh, as yesterday we read that this chapter is based on the difference between western and classical world of painting just one minute And in 15th century Antwerp, a master blacksmith called Quentin Massey, he fell in love with a painter's daughter. So now to understand it better, let's take an incident of, uh, you know, 15th century. All right. That was going, yeah. And uh, there was a blacksmith. Uh, called Quentin Matsey, he fell in love with the painter's daughter. You know, blacksmith who does iron work. The father would not accept the son-in-law in such a profession. Obviously, any father-in-law would never accept a blacksmith's son-in-law. So, Quentin sneaked into the painter's studio. So, what he did one day, he sneaked, sneak means entered, um, you know, stealthily into the painter's studio and painted a fly on his latest panel. He just painted a fly, you know, fly, like fly, it flies. With such a delicate realism, like it was so real that the master tried to swat it away. You know, he tried to fly it away. Swat it away means fly it away. Before he realized what had happened, Quentin was immediately admitted as an apprentice into his studio. Apprentice means your, uh, who are newly inductive, okay, into his studio. Somebody who wants to learn something and is new at it, that is apprentice. A help, you know, kind of a help also, a helping hand. He married his beloved and went on to become one of the most famous painters of his age. One of the most famous painters of his age. Now, these two stories illustrate what each form of art is trying to achieve. Yes. What each form of art is trying to achieve? A perfect illusionistic likeness in Europe, the essence of inner life and a spirit in Asia. In the Chinese story, the emperor commissions a painting and appreciates its outer appearance, but the artist reveals to him that the true meaning of his work. <clears throat> in the Chinese story, the emperor commissions a painting and appreciates. Like, you know, in the Chinese story, this uh, is something little different where the emperor asks somebody to make a painting and he only appreciates the outer appearance. But the artist reveals to him the true meaning of his work. But you know it is not about only the outer appearance. The emperor may rule over the territory he has conquered. But only the artist knows the way within it. I mean art of work not even the, the greatest of the emperors can understand. And the artist then say, uh, you know, said to the king that let me show the way. That thou a word that means both the path or the method. And the mysterious works of the universe, the painting is gone, but the artist has reached its goal beyond any material appearance. I mean, to understand a work of art, you need to have those eyes. It is not, um, you know, everybody's cup of tea. So we'll continue with it tomorrow. It will 